Hello students, welcome to my channel. This is Shantanu from Art and Crafty. Today we will discuss four topics. That is Sun Temple of Konark, Odisha, Alpana painting, Rangoli painting and Mandana painting. These four topics come under the syllabus of painting of class 9 CBAC. It is under unit 3. So let's start. In my previous video, we talked about wizard dance and yaksha yakshi. In this video, we will discuss Sun Temple of Konark, Alpana of Bengal, Rangoli and Mandana paintings of Rajasthan and MP. Konark Sun Temple is dedicated to the Hindu sun god Surya. It's a giant stone chariot with 12 wheels. It was built in 13th century CE by King Narasimha Deva I. It is situated at Konat in Odisha state of India. It was made up of three types of stones, chlorite, laterite and condolite. Architecture The word Konat is a combination of two Sanskrit words Kona which means corner or angle and Arka means the sun. The temple follows the Kalinga or Orissa style of architecture which is a subclass of the Nagara style of Hindu temple of architecture. Sculptures and ornamentations this temple was built entirely of stone having 12 pairs of highly ornamented wheels drawn by seven horses. It is actually in the form of chariot pulled by seven horses. The temple is entirely decorated with sculptures like lions, musicians, dancers, erotic figures and iconographical depictions of contemporary life and activities. The Sikhara or the main temple has been lost with time. Today only the Jagan Mohana and Bhog Bandapa along with sculptures of dancers and musicians remain. The Konak temple is also known as Black Pagoda because of its black tower. The left side of the picture depicts a picturesque view of Konak temple. The right side is the Jagan Mohana or assembly hall of Konak San temple. The left picture is the highly ornamented wheel and the right side picture is the sun god. In these two pictures, the left side is the view of sculptures of Konar and the right side is the picture of rampant lion. This is an illustration indicating the original design of the Konar sun temple. Next topic is Alpana. Alpana is a form of Rangoli that is practiced in Bengal. It is a representation of the artistic sensibility of the people of that state of India. The word Alpana has two different versions. As per one version, it is originated from the Sanskrit word Alimpana, meaning to plaster with or to coat with. The other version traces its roots 
to the word ali pana meaning the art of making ales or embankments some believe that the vratas with which alpana is associated can be traced to pre aryan times the art form of alpana has been used for ages for religious and ceremonial purposes and is usually done on the floor the alpana patterns are a part of the sacred rituals and are made during the days when vratas fasts are kept by the hindu women of bengal during which the whole house and the floor are painted with alpana art alpana designs use rice powder diluted rice paste powdered colors produced from dried leaves charcoal burnt earth etc materials like colored chalk vermilion flower petals grains etc are also used to decorate these designs the motifs usually comprise the sun ladder goddess lakshmi owl fish betel rice stem lotus flower sindhu box etc presently the influence of shantiniketan style of art can also be seen in alpana patterns these are the three pictures of different alpanas the left side is the lakshmi puja alpana at the middle alpana at the door step and at the right it is also the alpana at the door step then comes rangoli rangoli is an art form originated in indian subcontinent in which patterns are created on the floor or a table top using materials such as powdered limestone red ochre dry rice flour colored sand quartz powder flower petals and colored rocks purpose rangoli is usually made during diwali onam pongal sankranti and other hindu festivals in the indian subcontinent and are most often made during diwali designs are passed from one generation to the next keeping both the art form and the tradition alive rangoli hold a significant role in the everyday life of a hindu household especially historically when the flooring of houses was untitled traditionally the postures needed to make a rangoli are a kind of exercise for women to straighten their spines the rangoli represents the happiness positivity and liveliness of a household and is intended to welcome lakshmi the goddess of wealth and good luck it is believed that a hindu household without a clean entrance and rangoli is an abode of daridra that is bad luck origin rangoli is derived from the sanskrit word rangavalli and rang means color making of rangoli traditionally either powdered calcite or limestone or cereal powders are used for basic design the limestone is capable of preventing insects from entering the household and the cereal powders attract insects and keep them from entering the household design depictions may vary as they reflect traditions folklore and practices that are unique to each area 
Rangoli designs can be simple geometric shapes, depictions of deities or flower and petal shapes appropriate to the given celebrations. Geometric designs may also represent powerful religious symbols placed in and around household yagna shrines. These are the two different pictures of Rangoli. The left side is a Rangoli on the occasion of Diwali and the right side is the Rangoli drawn in front of a house door on the occasion of a festival in Maharashtra. Left side picture is a Rangoli made with flowers on the occasion of Onam and the right side is the Rangoli at Delhi, India. Next topic is Mandana of Rajasthan and MP. Mandana painting are wall and floor painting of Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh origin. Mandana is derived from the word mandan which means the decoration or ornamentation. Purpose. Mandana is drawn to protect home and wealth welcome gods into the house and as a mark of celebration on festive occasions. Meena woman in the Hatodi area of Rajasthan possesses skills for developing designs of perfect symmetry and accuracy. The art is practiced on floors and walls and the practice is often passed from mother to daughter. Making of Mandana The ground is prepared with cow dung mixed with rati, a local clay and a red ochre. Lime or chalk powder is used for making the motif. Tools employed are a piece of cotton or a tuft of hair or a rudimentary brush made out of a date stick. The design may show Ganesha, peacocks, women at work, tigers, floral motifs, etc. Such paintings are also called mandala in most parts of Nepal. These are the two pictures of mandana paintings. These are two more pictures of mandana paintings. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if there is any doubt or query, please put a note at the comment box below. See you in the next video. Bye.